Well, good day, Max here again. Welcome back to the shop. Because we've got a bit of a hold up with our tool post grinder repairs, like the belt, the drive belt's knackered, so we've got to get a new one. And also, I went to weld up the um, broken parts on the wheel guard. And I dragged all my TIG gear out. I didn't have any um, zir zirconate, zir zirconianated, zirconated white tip. Tungstens for the TIG. So, uh, I'll get some next week. So, in the interim, we're going to make a start on this. And we have here our grinding attachment off. Well, I brought this it's separate. I brought this along, oh, you know, a fair while ago, a long time ago, for my tool and cutter grinder. So this is an old, it's a bit of a mouthful to pronounce. It's a L.A. Rochelau Tooling Die Company, Leo Minster, Massachusetts, USA. I don't know the age, um, so if anyone knows any details about them, yeah, it'd be great to, to get a bit of info on this company. But just holds your 5C collets, collet tube. The issue with this is uh, the spindle, it's a, it's a shaft with inside a shaft. Now this is supposed to be, I'm assuming, as it should be, a really neat high precision fit. This, inside each other there and also the shaft to the housing. Uh, I have had these out before, they are very tight, there's, there's not enough clearance so I'll have to pull them out again and we'll just, we might have to make up a, a lap just to give them a slight tickle up if that's the case on the uh, OD and we'll see how they go together but we'll get them out. Um, I think they're that precise that I'll try and measure them with a mic, but uh, yeah, it's. I don't think a micrometer is going to be accurate enough to measure these spindles. So, anyway, we'll get this pulled apart and we'll go from there. Okay, I think we'll start with, we'll separate this rotating part off the arm there, then we'll set her up in the press. Let's give her a bit of a gentle push out. So there's a couple of um, locking screws, Allen keys. Pop them out. Now this part should separate. interesting so that this has a wedge wedge shaped feature underneath it oh, I see so those grub screws push on a set of pins with a corresponding wedge shaped feature. Yeah. I bet these haven't been out for a long time. 50 years. <laughs> okay well we'll give this a push out and see, where, see what it looks like. Okay we're just going to support the machined area on the side there with a just an old bearing cup. I usually keep this sort of thing exactly for this purpose. So that'll sit there. A bit of scrap aluminium.
Okay, out she comes. So then we're just going to we'll press this part out of this part. And we'll clean it up. We'll have a measure. Okay, we found a couple of scrap pieces that we can push on onto the uh, inside shaft and we have the outside shaft supported underneath. Well, hopefully, fingers crossed, extend our screw part of the press out a bit, give us a bit more stroke. Always keep one hand under the part you're pressing out, if it's a, a delicate part like this. Or if it's a big heavy part, you put a lump of timber underneath the press. Just so it drops out, it doesn't get damaged. Okay. That's our inner tube pressed out. It's all in very good condition, there isn't a mark on it. And there's a relieved section in the centre of this tube. So the, this machine ground section on the inside only goes through about a third of the way on each end, on each end and then the centre is relieved out. So we'll get these a, a bit of a clean up. We'll see if uh, we can measure something we might be able to pick something up, you never know. Just give us a bit of a light, a light staining with our precision ground flat stones. As we know, these won't take any material off, but if there's any minute burrs, we'll take those off. Well, okay, it's time we'll do some measuring and see how we're going to proceed with the fits on the spindles. So what we've done, We've stoned both spindles with their Stephen Lang's precision flat stones and they've come up really well. So we've cleaned out the bore of the housing. So now we have the perfect slip fit for the outer spindle. So now what we have to determine, that one over there for now, is how we're going to proceed to get that perfect slip fit between these two. So, measuring up the spindle, This spindle seems to be coming up at 
two to three tenths under inch and seven eighths. Now, we check the bore. I can feel a slight ovality in the bore. It's, it's very difficult to pick, but it's there. It's only a couple of tenths in it. So what I think we'll do, rather than lap, we're going to have to, to lap it, so we're going to have to make up a lapping tool. Rather than lap that whole surface on there, we're talking about half a foul we've got to take off this. What I might do is make up an internal lap and we'll do the idea of this part here because as we mentioned before the journal areas on the inside only cover a third of the length so we have one third there which is in relief and the journal and the journal. So we'll make up an internal lap and we'll just take a, a whisker out of lap and so we're only talking half a hour and then they should be the perfect slip fit. Now this part's a bit, I'm scratching my head over this part as to the history of it because when this was tight inside this, the OD of this increased just ever, just only a small fraction and made it tight in the housing. So when you take this out of the equation, you just put this into the housing, it's fine. So, I'm just wondering if this at some stage has been a replacement part and it's, I don't, I don't know, and it still has to be properly lapped to, for the proper fit. Because when I look down in, in the end of the, the part, there's a taper there for the 5C collar. Now, This has not got a mark on it, it's like, uh, I don't think about it. It's like brand new. So, whether this has been a replacement part that was ordered for this 50 years ago, way back in time, who knows. But we're going to lap this to fit this. So. Let's get a lap made up. I don't have one, so we'll make one. And we'll proceed from there.